Ukraine, Russia to deploy musicians to front to boost morale. Like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day. Russia says it will deploy musicians to the front lines of its war in Ukraine in a bid to boost morale. The Defense Ministry announced the formation of the Frontline Creative Brigade this week, saying it would include both vocalists and musicians. The UK's Ministry of Defense highlighted the brigade's creation in an intelligence update on Sunday. Meanwhile, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu visited frontline troops in Ukraine, the government said. In a statement posted to Telegram, the Defense Ministry said Mr. Shoigu flew around the areas of deployment of troops and checked the advanced positions of Russian units in the zone of the special military operation. It added that he spoke with troops on the front line and at a command post, but the BBC cannot confirm when the visit took place or whether Mr. Shoigu visited Ukraine itself. The reported visit comes as UK defense officials said low morale continues to be a significant vulnerability across much of the Russian force. The UK said the new creative brigade, which follows a recent campaign, urging the public to donate musical instruments to troops, is in keeping with the historic use of military music and organized entertainment to boost morale. But they questioned whether the new brigade would actually distract troops, who have been primarily concerned about very high casualty rates, poor leadership, pay problems, lack of equipment and ammunition, and lack of clarity about the war's objectives. According to the Russian outlet RBC News, the brigade will consist of troops mobilized under President Vladimir Putin's recruitment drive, as well as professional artists who voluntarily entered military service. The new unit will be tasked with maintaining a high moral, political and psychological state, among, the participants of the special military operation, the outlet cited the defense ministry as saying. Putin meets generals as missiles pound Ukraine. Meanwhile, Intense fighting has continued around the town of Bakhmut in the eastern Donbass region on Saturday, Ukraine's general staff said. The area has seen heavy clashes between Ukrainian and Russian troops for months, as Russia seeks to retain territory following a string of defeats in eastern Ukraine earlier this year. Western intelligence officials have previously said Russian attacks on the town are being spearheaded by the private military contractor, Wagner Group. Moscow hopes to use the town as a staging ground to launch attacks on the Ukrainian-held cities of Grimorsk and Slovyansk. Elsewhere, heating has been restored to the Ukrainian capital of Kiev, after Russian launched widespread strikes on Friday that targeted power and water infrastructure, Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said. Moscow launched 76 missiles on Friday, hitting nine power supply stations and plunging much of the country into darkness. Ukraine said it intercepted 60. We hope the video was useful to you. Like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day.